Can you train a cat when they are behaving badly? That is the question. Today, we're diving into the art of cat training, a journey that requires us to understand our kitty companions on a deeper level. We'll break down the complexities of their behavior and instincts, while emphasizing the importance of patience and consistency. We will also explore the use of positive reinforcement to address common behavioral issues such as scratching furniture, terrorizing your plants, biting, addressing cat spraying and accidents, or jumping on kitchen counters. Join us as we explore these techniques and strategies to help you and your cat live in harmony. Our full article listed in the description will even explain leash training for cats. To train a cat effectively, we first need to understand their behavior. Cats, just like us, have their unique personalities and instincts that shape their actions. Let's delve into some common behaviors we often observe in our feline friends. Scratching, for instance, is not just a whimsical act of destruction. It's a natural behavior for cats, serving multiple purposes, marking territory, stretching their bodies, and shedding the outer layer of their claws. Understanding this helps us devise strategies to manage it, like providing scratching posts as an appropriate outlet. Then there's the notorious counter jumping. Ever found your cat on the kitchen counter seemingly out of nowhere? It's not just to swipe a piece of your sandwich. Cats are natural climbers and love high vantage points where they can observe all activities of the household. So, instead of scolding them, we can provide alternative high spots like cat trees, shelves, or bar stools. Biting, another common issue, can be a form of communication or play for cats. It could also be a sign of irritation or fear. Recognizing the context of this behavior is key to addressing it effectively. In essence, understanding why our cats behave the way they do is the first step in training them. It's about seeing the world through their eyes and acknowledging their natural instincts. Now that we understand why our cats behave the way they do, we can start to address these behaviors. One of the most effective ways to train a cat is through positive reinforcement. But what exactly does that entail? Well, in a nutshell, positive reinforcement is all about rewarding desired behaviors. When your feline friend does something you want them to do, like using the scratching post instead of the sofa, you reward them. This way, they associate the action with something pleasant and are more likely to repeat it. Now let's talk about some of the ways you can apply positive reinforcement. Treats are a favorite among many cats, making them a powerful tool for training. Next time your cat does something right, give them a small treat. The trick is to do it immediately, so your cat can connect the reward to the behavior. Along with the treat should be petting and a verbal cue like, good job. Remember, if you are feeding too much at mealtime, the treats will not give you the desired results. Too many treats along with their regular meals can lead to weight gain and other health issues. There's another method that works wonders when combined with treats, clicker training. Clicker training involves using a small device that makes a distinct sound. It works like this. When your cat performs the desired behavior, you click the device and then immediately give a treat. With repetition, your cat will start to associate the click sound as a signal for good behavior and thus the reward. Now, while these methods are effective, it's important to remember that every cat is different. What works for quickly for one might take longer for another, so be patient. It's all about understanding your cat's unique personality and adjusting your approach accordingly. Remember, patience and consistency are key when using positive reinforcement. Your cat won't change their behavior overnight, but with time and dedication, you'll see results. We value your feedback and would love to hear your personal tips and tricks for cat training. When you head to the comment section, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Share this video with others to educate them too. For more information and the complete Cats Training 101 article, check out the link in the description. Now, let's get into the specifics of some of the most common behavioral issues that cat owners face and what to do about them. Scratching furniture is a natural instinct for cats. It's their way of marking territory and keeping their claws in check. But it can be frustrating when your favorite couch becomes their chosen scratching post. The solution? Provide them with an alternative. Invest in a cat scratching post or pad and place it near that terrorized couch. When you see them scratching the furniture, gently redirect them to the scratching post and reward them for using it. This might take some time, but consistency is key. Moving on to biting. Cats bite for several reasons. It may be a sign of discomfort, fear, or a way to assert dominance. The key to curbing this behavior is understanding why it happens. If your cat bites when you're petting them, it might be their way of saying they've had enough, or I want to play rough. Respect their boundaries and give them space when they need it. If biting persists, a firm no and withdrawing attention can send a clear message that biting is unacceptable. 
Lastly, let's address the issue of cats jumping on kitchen counters. This is a common issue and is often driven by a cat's natural curiosity to see all of their surroundings and find out what they are missing out on. The best way to discourage this is by making the counter unattractive. You can use aluminum foil or double-sided tape as cats dislike these textures. A clean and sanitized counter eliminates temping smells. Alternatively, provide a high perch or cat tree where they can satisfy their curiosity. Remember, cats don't misbehave to spite us. Their actions are often driven by instincts or needs. It's our job as responsible pet owners to understand and guide them to an alternative that results in a more positive outcome. Patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement are your best tools. With these techniques, you can guide your cat towards better behavior while respecting their natural instincts. Training a cat requires understanding, patience, and a touch of creativity. We've journeyed together through the ins and outs of understanding your feline friend's behavior, the magic of positive reinforcement and treats, and how to address those common yet pesky behavioral issues. Remember, patience and consistency are your best friends in this journey, and a well-timed treat can work wonders. Now, we're curious about your experiences. Have you discovered a clever trick to stop your cat from scratching the sofa? Perhaps you found a unique way to keep them off the kitchen counters? We'd love to hear about it in the comment section. As we said earlier, while you're there, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Sharing is caring. So feel free to share this video with your fellow cat enthusiasts. Don't forget, there's a link in the description to the complete cats training 101 article. Also, be kind to our partners listed in the description. They help make these videos possible. Remember, be kind to your pets. We'll see you in our next video.